Okay, uh, hello, and welcome to another Flash game. This is, uh, Versus Umbra, and, uh, today we're going to just be doing, uh, the main game, which is First Strike. So, let's do that, um, uh, let's see, just a moment, um, uh, we're just going to head over to here, play the game, and do the first one, First Strike. However, we're playing this in hard mode, so let's do that to hard mode. There's normal and hard, and so we can do hard, so let's do that. And yeah, you can also switch that for the other ones if you wanted to do those, but we're just doing a main campaign for now, so yeah. Um, okay, a new game. Here we go! Alright, well, using A and D, uh, okay. And this is our overlay. Um, Overlay. We don't have that yet, but we will. Those are for uh, achievements, which we'll get into later. But for now, we're going to focus on all the challenges. So that's what we're going to complete later on, and I'll show you how. So, anyways, before that, this is the tutorial walk well, using A and B. All right, let's continue. Jump using W. So, if you have a keyboard, look for the keys on the uh, top left, I think, or just near the left. W A S D basically is so, W to jump full auto fire. So you can hold down the left mouse click button and you can fire like so. The first weapon is okay, of course, but I would say it's not the most powerful later on. It does have decent knockback, but it's upgraded a lot more to that later. Anyways, quick weapons. So just shift. Alright, so you have a couple weapons to start with, and later on you're going to want to focus on upgrading a few things. I upgrade all of them. Uh, you will unlock new weapons later on in the game. So anyways, the weapon that we are required to equip is this. It looks like a bomb or something. So let's go ahead and equip that. Also, another thing to note, I don't know if I'll tell you this yet, but you can press a number key. Hold your mouse over this. You do one, or then pull it over here, press two. And then, going back over here, press one to switch to this weapon, two to switch to this. Now something simple you can try to uh, remember for later, they might talk about that in the tutorial as well, but it's nice to know. So anyways, you're requiring this weapon, let's go ahead. This, okay. Activate gadget. Okay, so your gadget is not quite a weapon so much as it is like an ability. Um, and the one we have here slows down time. So, let's push F. Uh, just a moment, switch back to this weapon. Any weapon is fine, but you need to equip the, uh, you need to activate, <coughs> I'm sorry, you, the, uh, gadget, so let's press F. And now you see time is still. However, it's not still forever. You have a bar over here that runs out of, uh, energy if you use it too long. So you don't want to use it too long, but, uh, so much depends on the situation. I'll just say that. So anyways, what we're required to do is to hold this down, Shoot the target, and there you go. And it does recharge, it takes a while. Once you upgrade your abilities and your character levels up, it'll be easier to recharge as if you get certain abilities and stuff. So, yeah, let's continue. Alright, did you enjoy my little training course? Press space to continue. Two rocks and three bullseyes is not a training course. They are, in fact, just that two rocks and three bullseyes. Well, everything is about to get a lot more exciting. The capital of Chemist has sent out an emergency transition, tra transmission. They are paying all local soldiers, assassins, mercenaries, and other aircraft to help them fight off the siege from their neighbor planet. I heard the word pay somewhere in that last sentence. Let's get moving. We need to restock on Ventium. And that is something people's generic armies always seem to be on our supply of. Right, off the cannon. Alright. Um, another thing. In Ventium. Um. It was kind of like the money in this game, or like the uh, currency you use to buy things from the shop and uh, upgrade weapons and things like that. So we'll get into that in a bit once we start collecting. All right, and here we go. So there are other planets you can unlock after you finish each one. So the first one, of course, is this one, Chemist. But before we go there, let's look around at our uh, options and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so. We have a couple of weapons we can equip, which we can um, do what we did before. I put them with the number of keys we want. Um, look at our armor. 
So what we have, uh, basically the over, overall, really. <clears throat> we do want to lock it, uh, about each time we finish a play, I believe. Uh, so, that's important. Notes. Perks are things you want to lock once you level up. And you level up by defeating enemies, basically. Relics are just, uh, random stuff you can collect. I'm not really gonna get into that, that's just, uh, little extra things and stuff for fun. It's not super important or anything, like, to finishing the game. I don't really think it's necessary, so... But you can equip them if you want, it's fun. If you want to, but... Oh, uh, we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna play it normally, mostly. And... Overlay. Here is where... I don't know if we open this already, but... It's our, like, achievements and stuff you can unlock. Uh, you can unlock most of them just playing the game normally, so them are a little harder, like going into Paradox, but we'll get into a bit later, but the normal one, first you go through that, and then... Sorry about that, that's a bit of like, spoilers there. Paradox one is when you finish the game, and there's something at the end, um... I'll leave that to explain later, though, because that's not super important right now. <coughs> Anyways... What's important is, uh, we're gonna go to this planet, and I wanted to show you what to do. So, let's cover over this. Mission objective. Defend your ship from some enemies. So that's what you have to do to finish the, uh, level. The challenge is to kill ten enemies using the fat man. So, let's look at that weapon. Where is that? Here. So, before we do that, which we may as well do while we're leveling our weapons, but... What we're gonna do is level up all of these six weapons, uh, to start with. Uh, the first, um, uh, first place on the planet. And after that, we're gonna unlock other weapons, and then we're gonna level them up. And so yeah, that's basically what we're doing, and I think they were ready. So, alright. The landing zone is hot, go and deal with it. Alright, so let's level up this first. It has infinite ammo, so it's very useful. It did take a bit of damage, as you can see. That is our health for the red bar over there. The bar below it is our level. We are level 1 at the moment. And you can jump and try to dodge. You see how they aim at you and try to shoot. So you try to, uh, avoid your bullets <coughs> as much as possible. You should be fine, though. You can pick things, pick up things like, uh, to heal. Okay, so what just happened here? Our weapon just leveled up, you see, it looks a little more powerful, and yeah, okay. So, that should help us a bit. Alright. And we got some more enemies over here. Alright, that's a little battery, that's pretty energy thing over here. As you can see, we could use a slowdown time if we want to, but at the moment, I don't think we need to. Later on, you can get an ability that makes the slowdown time a lot more powerful, which can make it you do more damage, which, at the moment, I don't know if that would really happen, so... Alright, and we leveled up. Here we go. Uh, max health, went up, perks, um, points. Okay, so, pick the perk. So, we have a few things to pick from, but don't worry, you'll have a lot more later on as you move along. So, let's look a look at this game of our experience. This is very important, because you want to level up faster, so let's do that first. Okay, there we go. And victory. Somatics fast. So, eventually there is a powerful weapon you can unlock after you finish all of the uh, uh, levels in a certain way. Oh, I'll get to that later, but we'll try to unlock it. Which will take a while, but anyways. Challenge complete now. Don't worry about that because getting a challenge is done will take time, but you need to level up your weapons first. So, let's go over here. We can build a new weapon now. Need 150 pentium, we have just enough. So, it looks like, um, we... The schematics actually gave us a random weapon. It can also happen, but sometimes the schematics will give you parts to a more powerful ant game weapon. So, we'll do... Eventually, we'll get that, but for now, let's build this. The randomizer. Um... I really don't like this weapon that much, but we're going to level up everything if we can. So, let's go ahead and continue, and keep leveling up. And there's the next quest, we're not doing that yet, we're going to continue uh, the first one and try to get the quest done as well. So, let's keep again. Why are we backtracking? I hate backtracking. Yeah, well, we've got to get this done. It's hard to tell what you hate in those since your expression always seems to be stuck in all serious mode. And, well, 
You seem like a serious person. Okay. All right. And I'll probably fast forward this part or something because it's gonna take a while. And I'll just go to the important parts where I level up and show that.
just like to play out the challenge. So how did that was uh first of all well, the other weapon which I'm afraid it did finish them off with the uh weapon we use for the uh challenge. So yeah. So we finished that, we start from the base. And we're not done yet, we're gonna keep going because we need to level up all these other weapons, so it will take a bit, but I'll be done soon. So let's continue. Alright, we leveled up. So, uh, let's see. 10% water critical damage, that's pretty good. Um, increased movement speed. I uh, need to get critical damage, that's very important. Oh. Uh, this is useful too. Let's see. Um, fast power increases by this will three points per level up. This is very important. We need to get that actually. So that'll help us properly level up. So we need that early on in the game for sure. Alright, level up. Uh, let's take another perk. Um, let's see, this is pretty good, um, hmm. uh, power regenerate, you know what, the, I like that a lot, let's get the power up, that's useful, or especially later on. Alright, and we got it moving up, we're gonna lock balls, we'll explain it for shatter bombs, so that's pretty useful. Alright, so now these two weapons are up to level 5. Let's get you to level up with more weapons, so let's put some more. You can do 3 here, 4 here if we want. And then a couple other slots. I don't usually play a couple of them, but you can. Uh, maybe like the first 5 is good enough, perhaps. Uh, so yeah, let's pull the third one and level it up. Alright. 
Yeah. 